$100,000 on the line in tonight's fifth race, the final of the Clyde Hurt Stakes for three and four-year-old Pacers. They're all lining up, and here they come. And they're off, and Lachance has Lord Helmet hustling hard from mid-pack toward the lead. Life Source gets away very well from the inside. Also away well, looking to drop in is Playing Field, who's racing in third. New Regal Falcon comes out comfortably in fourth, and two lengths behind him is Albatax in fifth. Up on the outside, Western Millennium gets a tap with the whip from Morrill sixth. He's outstanding, starts up to follow him. Racing in eighth is Starfighter, followed by Abadabadu and Pan, who would be king. Opening quarter in 27 and 1. And Campbell comes out of the pocket with Life Source, and Life Source is well in hand and moves easily to the lead. Lord Helmet releases him for the pocket in second. Racing in third on the inside is Playing Field. New Regal Falcon is fourth. He's a length and a half behind Playing Field. Western Millennium is waiting for his cover. And following him toward the outside is Albatax, who's racing in sixth. And now Luke makes a move with Playing Field. Playing field from third, so playing field is coming after life source as they hit the half and 56 and three, and New Regal Falcon is gapping playing field's cover right now. He's another three lengths back toward the outside fourth. That's a gap of two and a half to Western Millennium, who's fifth. Sixth on the inside is Starfighter. Racing in seventh on the outside is Albatax. He's outstanding as eighth. Abadabadu is ninth, and Pan, who would be king, is tenth and last. Campbell, well-rated drive so far behind Life Source. He's controlling it. Lord Helmet is going to need racing room, and now Miller makes his move with New Regal Falcon. He's coming three wide. Three quarters, 124 and four. They're at the top of the stretch, and Life Source sprints for home. Lord Helmet is in behind him. New Regal Falcon trying to come on, and New Regal Falcon has found his best stride. He's charging hard on the outside. Life Source is digging in. Lord Helmet there between them, but it's New Regal Falcon who surged past to take the lead, and New Regal Falcon has won it from Lord Helmet and Life Source in 152 flat. To New Regal Falcon. A four-year-old gelding by Falcon's Future out of the majestic low bell mare, New Regal Chicken, all by Bob Glazer's Peter Pan Stables of Pepper Pike, Ohio. The trainer is Mark Harder, and Dave Miller picks up his second series final victory this evening. New Regal Falcon, privately purchased after his last victory in round two of the Clyde Hurt by the Peter Pan Stables, returns some instant dividends here, scoring in 152 flat. Number two, New Regal Falcon, 320, 220, 210. Second, the 1A Lord Helmet, 380, 240. Third, number three, Life Source, 240. 21 Exacta, 960. 213 Tri, 2580. Pick three of 262, 20340. Trackside in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation is Mr. Jay Bergman, the editor in chief of Sports Eye. Of course, this series named after the late Clyde Hurt the executive editor of, editor of Sports Eye for many years, known for his trademark bow tie and his impertinent questions columns on the sport of harness racing in Sports Eye. And the Clyde Hurt final, the inaugural Clyde Hurt final, goes to New Regal Falcon for Bob Glazer, Mark Carter, and Dave Miller. the final of the night. Dave, two weeks ago the horse had pressure. He drew off. Last week, first over. He drew off. What were your uh, anticipations coming into the race tonight, starting from post three? Uh, the same thing. I just, just wanted to keep him in the clear and uh, give him a good shot to, to get in, in the race, you know, without no troubles. And uh, the announcer said he was gapping cover a little bit there past the half. What about that? Yeah, he's, I was telling uh, Bob here, he's kind of a green horse, you know. His, his game is, uh, he just kind of steady grinds it out, and, uh, you know, he's not, real, not used to the uh, quick brushes yet, but uh, his strongest is at the end of the mile. And you got after him top of the stretch. Did you think you had it won there? Yeah, because he, when he finally kicked in gear, he just kept on rolling in. <laughs> okay, Dave Miller, thanks. Congratulations. Peter Panstable, this is your first start with New Eagle Falcon. How did you wind up acquiring this guy? Well, uh, like everybody else here at the Meadowlands, I saw his awesome performances the last few weeks, and I gave the owner a call, and uh, we came to an agreement. 
We're going to hear about the price, or we have to guess? Well, I think Dave Brower kind of released the price. Uh, that didn't come from me, but that's... So the 200000 is accurate? That, that was an accurate price, yes. So that looks like a little bit of a bargain. Now, this guy loves to... He, he, he seems like he was born for the stretch here. Well, you know, I, I wouldn't say it's a bargain. I mean, I think it's full retail, but, uh, you know, he was going into this series as a favorite and is eligible to a few other series, so... That, that's uh, why the owner had a price that way. And you just recently uh, united with Mark Hart, I think, the last, this past fall. Yeah. Um, Mark's first race for me was with Hawaiian Flash in the Matron. And what about New Eagle Falcon? Where does he go next? Well, he's got the senior trendsetter. I think the first leg is on the first Sunday of racing here at the Meadowlands, uh, February 4th. Okay. Congratulations. Peter Pan. They've won with New Eagle Falcon. The Clyde Hurden, inaugural state, $100,000.